going back into history a little girl had a dream and used to say living alone is not living social appropriation need to be the ethos of life else life has no meaning passing out of the kala bhavan in the early 70s miss manjushri bhattacharya started working with the central family and welfare training center at sri niketan and traveled extensively she used to train girls especially shantali girls handicraft painting and other fine and performing arts around various villages these helped her to see from very close quarters the cultural social practices beliefs and social fabric of adivasi women she realized that not only they are economically deprived but also deprived of education and various facets of life which the educated society enjoys and the gap is ever increasing something must be done came to her mind dark clouds loomed over these unfortunate people and they all had submitted to god and they will end life by tilling in the fields only but god had different plans as a stint she fell in love and got married in 1978 to a young adivasi santal mr borka shoren from muluk who was a professor of santali language at bishop bharati their marriage was solemnized by dr shurujit singh in presence of santals and many other distinguished guests konika bandopadhyay and ninima sen sang anand dhara bohiche bhuvane in the function thereafter day after day on one side manjushri shorin was tirelessly moving from village to village training the girls for social upliftment on the other side borka shorin was tirelessly educating the helpless and unfortunate santhal boys and girls their journey in life continued in this way karma yoga became the main incantation of their life of the couple in the next 5 decades the list of all the work done by them will take up pages to write but some of these are indicated below they were associated with bharat chebashram sangho and donated 26 bigas of land at muluk which has become an ap center for residential education socio economic development of the underprivileged in the villages and also with the goshala borka sharen who learned rabindra sangeet under the tutelage of professor gora sarbhodikari at vishwa bharati became the first santali to translate tagore songs in santali language and sing those extensive coverage in the media was also given for this unique accomplishment Three decades back, a seed which was planted with only five underprivileged children in a tin shed for human upliftment has grown into a large tree under the banner of a public charitable trust named Binapani Educational Welfare Trust at Mauludanga. The trust established in 1997 with the patronage of many well-wishers, the ashram provides holistic development of the ashram kanyas not only in education but also in music, song, dance, performing arts, tailoring, teaching and computer education. Ashram kanyas plants a sapling in the sprawling campus on the bad day and are responsible for nurturing the same. This indicates in their mind the relationship of nature and human beings. the ashram also provides health care and training for women in tailoring hand stitching plan is under the anvil to start a yoga center here the aim is to ensure each ashram kanya becomes a good human being in the society pages after pages can be provided or written on the contribution of these couple monjushri and borka shorin to the society for the holistic development and socio economic upliftment for the underprivileged many accolades have poured in monjushri loving lovingly known as marango by the ashram kanyas from various quarters notable being the recognition of the telegraph corporates like vodafone icici and many others vodafone has also published a book titled women of pure women on monjushri many organizations including rachi university have recognized the contribution of borka shoren monjushri and borka has been recognized by nazrul committee by conferring the rabindra nazrul puraskar it will be very prudent to conclude that manjushri and borka are the unsung heroine and hero at sri nitkan and shantiniketan
Binapani Education and Welfare Trust, for short, popularly known as Binapani Ashram, was founded and formally registered at the office of the additional sub-register Bolpur on 21st of March 1997. The initiative came from Borka Soren and his wife Monjushri Soren in order to provide formal education, health care and cultural uplift to poor tribal children of the local villages and also for children from an underprivileged families from distant places of other districts of West Bengal. More than two decades after, the institution continues to grow and evolve as it pursues its goal of empowering local tribal children, especially girls, by making them more self-reliant through comprehensive programs. Those are generally formal education, vocational training, and enrichment activities which help them assimilate into mainstream life of the land. True to the founder's vision, Binapani Ashram has provided quality wealth services to an increasing member of first-generation learners since its inception as a registered trust in 1997. The ashram identifies itself in being an educational support system leading to women's empowerment which runs exclusively through individual and corporate support anyone who identifies with this goal and objective is encouraged to join the individual as a sponsor volunteer donor an instructor at the ashram school or as a fundraiser of the organization further in addition to the education and training programs the organizers have created facilities or general health care a modern dental an eye care unit. OPD medical units are attended by qualified doctors. Treatment is free of cost for the ashram children and local villages. All medical services, health camps or blood related programs are conducted and run by Binapani Ashram organized by the Navonipa Memorial Clinic located within the ashram premises. Some of the outstanding activities pursued by Binapani Ashram in the last 20 years include providing free accommodation and highly subsidized food for the resident girls of Binapani Ashram and hostel for girls, having madhyamik passouts and most of them gone to higher pursuer education in different colleges and university. It runs primary and pre-primary nursery school for the children of around 3 plus age group till they attain primary school, a primary section closed during the corona period. Has now been re-established, maintained a smart classroom equipped with computers and a 55 inches flat TV screen with necessary electronic gadgets to conduct online classes. Maintains a well-stocked school appropriate library on site providing opportunities for physical exercise and cultural enrichment for the students in the form of yoga, karate, music, dances, and drama classes, regular computer application classes for the resident school children, and provides general health care services and special dental and eye care facilities for the villagers. It has been an endaunting activity continued by the Binapani Ashram extensively to serve the people and the tribal communities to the best of their abilities. The cornerstone of the individuals who conducted these services and maintained this is Monjushri Sharin, Secretary Binapani Educational and Welfare Trust, Moldanga Shantini Ketan Bolpur, West Bengal, in close association with her husband, Borka Sharin, who has been a professor of Shantali language at the Bishop Bharati University and has been a pioneer in the Santhali language and literature first first singing the Tagore songs in Santhali language has been an outstanding endeavor. Her sister Dr. Shukla Bhattacharya who serves as the treasurer and headmistress of this organization and Gita Sri Ghosh the hostel warden and tutor of this teaching education who continues to cater to the services for the poor underprivileged and those who needs. Kalingo Chronicle TV extends their best and heartiest wishes to Binatwani Ashram, Dr. Manjushri Soren and Borka Soren to continue their great endeavor to change the life of those who needs the most. Shoikot Kumar Basu, Biro Report, Kalingo Chronicle TV.